The beginning of the Bobby Hurley era for Arizona State men's basketball began with optimism and excitement, but ended with uncertainty and confusion as ASU fell to Sacramento State 66-63. to It was not the way I wanted to start things here, for sure, and uh, it was, you know, an embarrassing loss, you know, for us. The Sun Devils had a frustrating night all around, but most notably from beyond the arc where they shot just two for 17. ASU also struggled defensively where they allowed two Sacramento State players to score at least 20 points. I mean, we're also learning and stuff like that, uh, but I mean, we, we still, it's no excuse to give up a game like this. It's just plain loss. The already shallow Sun Devil front court was also hindered by recovering and limited save on Goodman. You know, he's going to be able to play, just maybe not quite at, at the level that, that uh, you know, he's capable of. Junior forward Savon Goodman was limited to 21 minutes of action as he recovers from a stress reaction in his foot. But Willie Atwood was one of the lone bright spots for the Sun Devils, getting 11 points and 11 rebounds. You know, Willie, it's no surprise that, that he's got he had 11 and 11, and because he's been playing at a high level since I've been there, and he works at it every day, and he works on his game, and has a great attitude, and. You know, wants to have a great season this year, so he played well. Atwood's contributions could not combat the overall struggles for ASU, nor could Trey Holder's team high 17 points. The Sun Devils will have a second chance at their first win of the season under Bobby Hurley when they host Belmont on Monday night. From Wells Fargo Arena, I'm Zach Pocklib, Cronkite Sports.